hot fist fight you right here. Like some of these old trucks be solid, some of them just be so old. And then these Fords, you can't find no parts on them. The freight prices is terrible, and he wants to get out of the freight game. And what game you want to get into? Dump trucks. The right dump now. truck game. Anybody out there that's making it in the freight game, man, you you a bad boy right now because it's terrible out there. So this is the rear end, y'all. We back there, we back there patching. They got me sitting up here waiting. The other truck's gone to get loaded again. Sign out time now, y'all. Day over. Out of there. See, that's the shit right there. You don't want to hit nobody's windshield. What's going on, fam? It's your boy Al. Y'all tune back in with them Jennings boys, man. And we back with another video for y'all. Make sure y'all stop what y'all doing with that subscribe button. Hit that post notification bell, man. Like this video. We're gonna keep running these numbers on up, man. All y'all that's that's new to the channel, man. Make sure, like I said, go stop and subscribe, man. And say only 80% of y'all ain't subscribed that's watching the videos, man. So Make sure y'all go subscribe for me, man, and, and like this video, man. Today's video, man, we up here at the shop early, man. Just got up here. Just got the trucks off to work, man. We got a uh, patching job going on up it's up by the Intel job. They're doing a lot of construction up there by Intel. So I think they widen the roads up there. But for now, I think we're just patching it because it's all jacked up from the utility companies and just all the stuff they got going on up there. So we up there on a, on a patch job. I'm going to be uh, getting some content out there for y'all. Toe Pops to get some content out there for y'all to show y'all some uh, on site on how the dump truck stuff goes and the type of jobs you'll be doing if you want to drive a dump truck and just how it goes, basically. So you'll be seeing that. Um, we're going to be going uh, probably over to Dylan's shop. I got some stuff to do over there. And uh, yeah, whatever else we get into, I don't know, y'all. It's another day up here at the shop man hopefully we got a smooth day nothing crazy happen and uh we can get home at a decent time today man i got here at what five in the morning this morning and then last night i didn't leave here it's about 8 30 at night so hopefully we can hopefully we can get up out of here at a good time today we shall see so uh yeah make sure y'all stay tuned and uh go in the comments let me know what y'all want to see man let me know if you what y'all want to see in this dump truck game and uh yeah, stay tuned. Fam, if it ain't one thing, it's another. We always rocking and rolling, man. That's what come with this trucking industry, man. It's truck life. It's owner operator life. We're about to hop in this Mac over here. This one stack Mac. I tried to find an exhaust for it, but I can't really find one. And all the ones I found was like five hundred dollars that'll work for it. You see it's kind of bent up, so I'm gonna try to I'm gonna take it over to Dylan. He's gonna fabricate me one. The exhaust cool, but it need to go out and up. Cause it's exhausting back into the truck. It's exhausting straight out and like it's going through that window. So when you drive in the truck, all them exhaust fumes coming in there, boy. You be in there lightheaded. You don't wanna smell that all day, Rucker. Well, no driver wanna smell exhaust fumes all day, so we're gonna take this truck, drop this truck off. We're going to be picking that Mac up we dropped off the other day and driving it back over here, so stay tuned. Some of y'all 
y'all learn in automatics, man. You should be able to drive this truck, man. You can drive a manual in a car, you should be able to drive this truck. It ship good, easy. This was it's, it's almost impossible to grind the gears in this truck. It's a uh, eight-speed, eight LL. Should be shooting over here. It's starting to rain, man. I'm so sick of this rain. That's one thing in this dump truck game, y'all. This rain will mess your money up, man. We done, we done got canceled two days this week already. Uh, I had a job lined up for us to run through the rain, but that ended up getting canceled last minute. It's been getting so much rain. It's crazy, y'all. And it's supposed to be another storm tomorrow, so we're going to see what we come up with for tomorrow. Shit, this rain will uh, tear your pockets up, man. So y'all looking to get into the dump truck game, make sure y'all configure the weather and how much y'all gonna make man you'll get you'll get a few rain days um, each month no jobs get canceled and stuff this truck right here did a new windshield too so uh, we're gonna see about getting a new windshield put in here too check so, y'all we on the move make sure y'all go like this video and uh subscribe if y'all ain't already subscribed Running them numbers on up. Back over here to South Central. About to start her up, let her air up. We're gonna be taking her out of here. Look like they got this Western Star about done. We just missing the latch, the windshield wiper. What that seat look like? Let's put a thousand on this seat, y'all. Thousand dollar seat. It's a seats and cool. Oh no, that's a legacy. Thousand on this seat, y'all. Let's see how I feel. I don't feel bad. Don't feel bad, y'all. Don't feel half bad. Yeah, just waiting on one more part for this truck, and then we'll be uh, picking this truck up and taking it to the paint shop next week to get this cab restored and repainted. Getting the frame sandblasted and painted. She gonna be a whole new truck. Looks like he might actually be over here working for once, man. We ain't catch him in the office, y'all. Yeah, this that old truck I was telling y'all about. This most definitely that truck. I remember how the bed looked. It looked crazy now. If I thought about this truck, y'all, yeah, would not look like this right now. Because I wouldn't have painted the... Uh, the... Is that, did they paint the bed, or...? I don't know. This truck ain't in bad condition, though, for real, for real. That truck can still make some money. I like he's trying to get this truck started. It took too long to work on it, man. Nice oh. dead. Yes. I was gonna buy that truck over there. That, that L9. Who truck is that now? Oh. What? Ah, oh, fist fight you right now. I was gonna buy that truck before I even met you. Yeah, I've seen it. I've done like the last like four or five hundred of it. Damn, but then swapped that many hands. I've never seen the truck work right. Really. A full week, a full year, a full nothing. Because don't nobody want to drive it. it. The crazy part is it drive good. 
Huh? So I think it used to. Used to? I've never personally drove it. I've drove around the yard. When I, when I test drove it, it drove good. But when I when I check popped the hood and start checking the fluids, it had oil in the coolant. I know nothing about problem So I was like, I'm cool. I think you're going to like. I was gonna pay like sixteen or seventeen thousand for it, but that was back in twenty sixteen or some shit like that. I still got to talk to trailers. What's the name? This uh. It's Robbie's old truck. Yeah, it got a cat in it, don't it? 3106 or some shit? 31, uh... 3306? 3306, yeah. Yep, Yeah, this that truck. I remember. <laughs> it's crazy how these trucks be changing so many different hands and you see different ones. Yeah, that's why, that's why we don't really keep track of customers anymore. We keep track of trucks now. Yeah. I've, had this, I've had the same truck, like, like you said, this truck right here is traded hands four or five different times, but they all bring it to me. Alright. That's because it's probably a headache. Some of these old trucks be solid, some of them just be so old. And then this these Fords, right you can't find no parts on them. No, this one right here would be a really, really good truck. You just gotta put a lot of money in it. And you gotta drive it, your, and you gotta drive it yourself. Because you, you try to hire a driver, you pull up, you tell him he's driving this, boy, you better be paying him like 40 hour. Or you ain't gonna, he ain't gonna call you back no more. I was wondering who painted it silver. I'm like, ain't nobody shine that better. That's look painted. It's a steel bed. It was black when I looked at it. Yeah. Used to be black. It looked crazy now. Cause the bed's straight inside. I mean, it's got a bunch of moons up there, but like I said, when I, when I drove it, it was solid. I ain't gonna lie about the vibe. Besides it having cool uh, oil in the cooling. So that Mac, I was gonna tell you to check out the cluster, but now it ain't beeping. It didn't beep the whole. When I picked up the first time, it was beeping. Me, it wouldn't stay on. Now nah, it's staying on. Weird as fuck. I think it's all good. I think we just need that exhaust. See if it got any air leaks. I don't know. Remember we fixed the air problem, but it's still. I don't know. It, it keeps back and busting down like every two seconds. Like, shh, shh. And it goes up to 140, then it go back to 120. I don't know. That's some weird shit. I don't know. He's, you don't need me to write no report, do you? I mean, if you would like to, that'd be nice. You know what to put on there. The exhaust. The main thing, the exhaust. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do... Key in this? Yeah, keys in this. I think what we're going to do is get rid of the one that's there. Yeah. Put a new one. Because they don't make one, do they? They do. It's but expensive it's as fuck. Expensive. I looked at it, it was like five, six hundred dollars. Yeah. I'm like, hell no. Nah. Especially when I can get those pieces right there for like 50 bucks a pop. Yeah, fuck that. Let's just do that. Let's just fabricate yeah, it. What I'll do is I'll just go like this, like this, and then I'll go backwards towards What's the What's left on this western, sir? I'm waiting for the white pipe, hood latch, and then... You got that wiper too, right? We gotta get the wiper arm. I thought you were getting the wiper arm. No, Mike said he had both. Oh, okay. I thought y'all got both already. And then this light just went out. So we'll replace that one. Mike, you fired, man. <laughs> but you do got the latch. He got you the latch. Yeah, we don't have it yet. We were supposed to order it or get it or something. I don't know. But that was right at the midst of the the, the Wi Fi. So I was like, all right. Yeah. He said they had them. Yeah, all the. All the he said they had the, the 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 wiper and the and the latch. Yeah, I remember this old truck too. All oh, the lights working. Ah, oh, yeah, lights working, y'all. Like I said, there's that one headlight out. So we just gotta fix the headlight. Yeah. What about the brake lights and all that shit? They still dim or they mm -hmm. light up? There's got a whole them. new light box back there. Ah, oh, you just got a whole new light box. I had to get a whole new light box, and he pretty much. I mean, he's got some hours in it. All right. But I figured yeah. we didn't know what we were actually gonna do with it, so I figured we just go ahead all and right. wire it, wire it correctly. Damn, I'm at the border. This bumper. How hard is this bumper to put on? It's so cold. So. Cause they, you think I'm gonna take it off to paint the truck? Probably not. Probably not. All right. Well, we'll come back to that. Cause I doubt if I order it now, it's gonna come in time. Yeah, I doubt it. Yeah, ain't no, ain't no bringing this one back. We shall see. All right, fam. I'm about to get up out of here. Been hopping this Mac. Get back on this highway. You said what?
One, three out of four is. Yeah, three out of four is. We're about to hop back on this highway, man. Make sure y'all, like I said, go subscribe. Hit that post notification, man. As soon as it stops raining, man, let me get y'all some good content, man, out on these job sites, man. I'm gonna be out at real POV, that real dump truck life. It's just been, we ain't been on no interesting jobs right now, and this rain keep coming and coming and coming and coming and coming. So yeah, make sure y'all stay tuned. Just coming to you. Uh, they park back here. What they be hollering? Wonder who they holler for. All right, fam, we got an owner operator in here, man. I told y'all I bring y'all some live feedback from the streets, man. How many trucks you say you got? I got three right now. He said he got three trucks, man. He hauling, uh, you said drive-in? And flatbed. He do drive-in and flatbed, man. He said the freight prices is terrible, and he wants to get out of the freight game. And what game you want to get into? Dump trucks. The right dump now. truck game. So we're going to put him on the game, y'all, yeah, yeah. and uh, try to get him in the truck and get him out here working and uh, making this $1,000 a day in a dump truck. So he sound like he's serious. He said all you got to do is just buy a truck, huh? Yeah, yeah. We okay. Sell some stuff and come to this game right now. Yes, sir. And it's the perfect time to get in right now. It's the beginning of the season. So yeah. we're gonna see if uh we're gonna see if he make his way to the crossover. What was your name again? Marcos. Marcos. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna see if Marcos makes that transition over, y'all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How long you been in the, uh doing freight? Um, eleven, almost twelve years. Ago. Okay, eleven and twelve. And when did it start going to shit? Because <laughs> um, it was good for a while. Uh, it, it's had its ups and downs. But these past couple years have been terrible. Last year is the, the bad year forever. Right. Yeah. Yeah. If you I ain't think after COVID. Yeah. After know. the COVID, after the COVID markup went down, it's like you hauling for free. Yeah. That's how it was with my when I was doing driving. I was like I was I was losing money. I got, End of the I week. Got six maybe seven trucks before. I'm ready uh -huh. to sell some stuff. Right. Downsize. Right now, right now, just me drive because the drive. Just... Yeah. If you put a driver in, you're gonna lose money. No. no. Yeah, it's you ain't going to make no money. It's, yeah. it's, it's crazy out there. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to see more of uh, Marcos here soon, y'all. Yeah. As y'all can see, man, I'll tell y'all the game to get into is dump truck game. It's still some good freight out there if you do some kind of specialized freight. But if you ain't doing nothing specialized, uh, the, the, the freight prices is, is terrible. terrible. Um, yeah. Do you got any, like, direct customers or are you, like, using low boards? Low boards, yeah. You usually see the low boards is yeah. terrible. I tried to use the low boards for a couple of months and I couldn't do it. It was it was it crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, I was arguing with somebody every day, arguing with the with the brokers every single day on them low boards. Man, they gather all the loads up and then they mark them down five hundred and keep five hundred in their pocket and, and and then give them to the truckers. So yeah, that that freight yeah. game is a is a bad game, man. If anybody out there that's making it in the freight game, man, you you a bad boy right now because it's terrible out there. So. Make sure y'all stay tuned. Make sure y'all go like this video, man, and we're going to bring y'all some more content. So we're going to try to get Marcos crossed over, y'all. We're going to see if he actually commit to buying a truck. I think I got him convinced, y'all. Y'all, we have finally made it to this job. We got Jelly down there, if y'all can see. Y'all see Jelly down there, he thought empty. He in the paper now. Once Jelly get out, he gonna tell Chris, and then Chris is gonna go down there one truck in at a time. Sometimes it's like that, but what sucks is, I'm training my guy, and I usually walk him through it, but Chris said he did this in Fresno, California. He did asphalt, so I'm gonna believe in him, man. It can't be no harder in Fresno than it is here. So then he's gonna go back out, he's gonna do his job and uh, get that hot rock off. Then I gotta wait on him to go. I'm after him. And then, uh, then I'm gonna get mine off. We're gonna go back to the plant. I think we're gonna be on this job the rest of the day. We're doing patches, like I said, we do patches in the beginning of the year. Every year, patch the road. When we patch a road, we know for sure we're gonna come back and asphalt that road once we patch it. So we will be doing this road near future. 
but I'm just happy to be back on Hot Rock. And you got a whole new, whole new development right here. We might be back up in here asphalting this development right here. You know, it's Hot Rock season, baby. It's time. It's time to get that bag, you know. You know, we only work nine months out of the year, so we gotta, it's like, we like squirrel. We gotta collect nuts. We gotta collect that bag, you know what I'm saying, for the winter off. With them two or three months off, be rough on a brother. But it's all good though, y'all. Jenna's boys, we out here on this job still. On this, uh, we out here on this, uh, see them back there. I don't know if y'all can see them good. I'm sitting back like that. Y'all see them now. Let y'all see them now. See them. <coughs> We're back there. We're back there patching. They got me sitting up here waiting. The other truck's gone to get loaded again. I don't know. I might have to do another run. We'll see here in a minute, though. But, uh, I see what's going on. All right, rock is back. Like I said, most of the time we start off patching roads, then we do roads. But uh, I'm just happy to be back to work. Shut it up. Doing what it do. Doing what it do. Who? The Jenna's boys. Sign out time now, y'all. Day over. We got other trucks coming. Jelly still out there. Chris, the new guy still out there. I'm going to clean my bed on up. Get my bed all cleaned up. Get this stuff up off of here, man. You know, it's always good to get that. Get that shit out of Look at that bed. Clean, baby. Clean. I had problems last year. But she clean this year, baby. Looking good, too. Get all this shit out of there. See, that's the shit right there. You don't want to hit nobody's windshield. That shit fall, hit somebody's windshield. You paying for it. They gonna follow your ass, and ain't no way you gonna get away in no dump truck. I'm telling you, I done tried it already. It don't work. You hear me? It don't work. So, uh, you don't clean that gate off, you break somebody's window, your ass gonna pay. Cut all that shit off of there, see? You gonna pay. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna cost you. A new bed, look at that new bed, boy cleaned up. That used to be shit used to get caked up in there. It don't know more. It don't know more. Alright, fam. We done made it back to pick up the Mac. The one stack Mac. This is the one stack Mac for real now, y'all. So this is what he came up with. He got that mug sticking way out there. Man, I hope that ain't too far, man. Hopefully I don't hit the silo or nothing. He should have cut that down some more. Goofy ass boy. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Let's go in here and see what he in here doing. That's the key in here. The key in here, we gonna start him up. The key is not in here, y'all. Uh. Let's go in here and see what he got going on. What's the update? I done seen this already. Yep, new white pipes in there now. Ah, then it came? Yep. So this one's going to be ready then. Yep. The leveling valve, we had to replace this because it was all corroded and I barely bumped it and it broke. We had to replace oh, that valve. Oh, it's breaking shit. Oh, ah, this is the truck you sent me on Snapchat. I couldn't tell off the Snapchat if this was my truck or something else. What else we got going on? That was the only pipe right there that we had to reuse. Okay, that little short piece? Yeah, we replaced the flex. It was leaking all the way down there too? It was... It's probably in the scrap pan, but it had two cracks in it. Where that, uh... This that seat? Yeah. Just, uh... I come back again. Yeah, I think. I think. Oh, stash in the back. Yeah, I think Kenny gonna buy it. So I'm yeah. sure he'll probably have you put it in. So might as well just leave it. Leave it here. Yeah, I sent him yesterday. Yeah. I'm gonna send him a picture of it. We gonna resell the seat, get some money back. I, the damn near should keep it for a truck, but I think I'm gonna start putting them leather seats in all my shit just to. Keep the drivers, keep the drivers happy drivers and comfortable. 
just this year alone, we're only in, what, April? Mm-hmm. That's probably the sixth seat that we put in that's leather. Everybody loves them seats. Yeah, it make a hell of a difference when you sit in that truck all day. Back, hey, some, I can't, hey, that's why I stopped driving. That shit was, my tailbone fucked up, so certain seats was messing my tailbone up. I thought I'd be sitting there so long. Even them seats in the max fucked my tailbone up. They're too hard. Yeah, I They're don't, too stiff. Them, what are they, Legends or Legacies or whatever? they they're Legacies. Called? They're the cheapest one, though. There's levels to it. It's still levels to them seats. That's the that's a thousand right there. They got the ones that's fifteen hundred. They got the ones that's twenty five hundred. I got one dude. He just bought one for twenty two hundred. Twenty two hundred. But it's probably big boy as fuck, man. It's a, dude. It's a couch. I mean, it's a lazy boy recliner. What the hell are you gonna do with this? What you be doing with the, with the old engines with the, after you swap them? You got a way to get rid of them? Just junk them. Where are you junk them at? Uh, we take them over to, like, Ace and all that. Uh, like, our scrap pile. Uh, Whenever we take our scrap pile this time. Engine with a hole inside of it. That one. Is that a rear end? Yep. Fucked up. So, this is a rear end, y'all. Any y'all don't know what a rear end is, this is a rear end right here. See just all, the inside of it. So when the when you when you when your fluid run low when you don't check your fluid because fluid fills this all up. So when you ain't got no fluid, it start running rough and hot and it don't stay smooth. And See the how gears, thick it is in there? Yeah, the gears you start. How thin it is right there? Yeah, the gears start grinding up and then lock the, up on you. The pinion gear is even worse. And then it's five six thousand to get a new one in there all together. That one right there is forty eight hundred. You buy one. That one. Just the rear end is forty eight hundred. I think he said it was like 4800 So that ain't even installing it. So he might be at 7 8 That engine had a hole in it. Yeah, I remember you showed, we, you showed me this one. I remember this one. Oh, we have two. Hole in the block. Hey, any of y'all with these old trucks, man, keep y'all 15000 20000 man, stored away. Because one day, you might be doing a motor swap. And I promise you, it's cheaper to do a motor swap than it is to buy a new truck these days, so... Make sure y'all taking care of y'all's trucks. Make sure y'all doing y'all's oil changes. Come see my man right here, man. He'll do an oil change for you. You gotta keep up with the man. I had one dude come say he paid eight seventy five for an oil change. I said, "Bro, you got robbed." That's crazy. I got you like three, four customers. Right. New, new dump truck guys. And they got some decent trucks. They ain't got like no, no ragged out, no ragged out junk. That's gonna be a pain in the ass to work on. So they'll yeah, be hollering at you. You said I what? These were everywhere. They I still mean, everywhere? They still everywhere. Everybody's running away from them. I'm starting to where it was. I'll buy one right now. Shit. Hey, when this one goes for sale, I'll probably let you know about it. What's wrong with this? Ain't the one that got that Mercedes in it, is it? Uh huh. I no, thought I said. I think it just said Mercedes on it, didn't it? Or was that a different one in here? That's a different one. You said what? In uh, Indiana. Nice truck. Yeah. It's going, when I it leave here, it's going to the paint shop. It's going to the paint shop. We're going to do the frame and the, they're going to fiberglass the cab and paint the cab. I got to get a bumper for it and I got all new wheels for it. I'm going to put all new tires on it. And then uh, she's going to be ready to go. These trucks look good. I should have got the other one, but it had the ISX in it, so. Yeah, that new shit costs too much. Yeah, if this truck goes up for sale, I'll let you know about this one right away. Why? The solid? I've done a lot of work for this truck. And the owner that owns this truck right now, don't play. I just said, I got like two, three people that want to buy trucks. Affordable. This is a quad, too. Mm-hmm. It could be cleaned up. This truck runs every day. It really, really, these Sterling's, you just got to get in them and drive them and see how they drive. Some of them, you'd be like, I get in drive it, I won't buy it because they just don't ride this one good. Right here, if I was buying another you, standard truck. A lot of these Sterling's ride good, though. You'll get one of these Sterling's, they drive smooth, smoother than any other truck. So you'd be like, oh, yeah, I'll buy this. Just don't buy no Ford, y'all. The Sterling's, you can still get parts for. Right here. We grease this truck at least twice a month. Ah, okay. Like, the dude that owns this does The crazy part is... You fucking pe- take and paint this truck. 
paint the frame, put all new aluminums on it. Go ahead, spend that money, and uh, see this bed can be repainted too. Mm -hmm. hey, one, Sand it down, and it can look good. He's gonna paint the bed on it, or put a brand new bed on it. That's more expensive, but that's still cheaper than buying one of these new trucks. We're putting a clutch in it right now. We're putting new bug housing on it, and then new clutch, new bug housing. Cylinders two years old, three years old. What year is this? What the interior look like? Hey, that's the biggest thing on these cabs. What the what the what the dash look like? Nah, this one don't look bad. This one don't look bad at all. I tried to do it in my shop today. He actually owned this video. I got him on this video, and uh, he looking for a truck. We're gonna be doing a lot of little truck stuff this year. We're gonna be buying a lot of little trucks and. Doing some stuff. Oh, that's where it came from? Once you build it. That's probably This came from Guider. It's on Guider. Oh, you know what? This is probably the one I was going to buy. The quad. I was going to buy this truck. I was going to buy this truck. I know the dude that bought it. He's, ever since it came from Guider, he bought it. And I promise you, he's. I ain't want to. Uh, it was a reason I didn't buy it. It was something I didn't like about it. It needed some shit done to the and then uh, well, I what, I, what I was going, yeah. yeah, what I what he wanted for it, I was like, nah, I ended up buying the. Uh, you bought the Green Sterlings, didn't you? I bought that, then I bought the Superman truck. Yeah. Instead of this one, this one. Ain't. All right, fam, that's gonna wrap it up for this video, man. Make sure y'all stop what y'all doing, man. If y'all ain't already subscribed, please go subscribe, support this channel, man. We're gonna be bringing y'all plenty of more trucking content. Dump trucking content. We're gonna be buying trucks, uh, selling trucks, you know, restoring trucks, and, and and doing dump truck work. Man, out there doing uh road construction, doing tires, and you know, it's gonna be up here at the shop, man, trying to get some money, man, showing y'all how to make some money and uh, giving y'all some free game, man. As y'all can see, man, I tried to convince one dude to uh, sell his semi truck and uh, buy him a dump truck, and he's super convinced. So. Hopefully he make that transition because he is not making any money hauling freight right now. He said he barely making it right now. So trying to get him to convert over into a field where he can make some money, man. Make that thousand dollars a day profit in his pocket. So we can see if we gonna get him converted, man. We got a lot to come. Um, we're still waiting on that Mac to come back. Uh, still working on that Western Star, man. That's gonna be done here soon, man. And yeah, so just make sure y'all stay tuned, man. And uh, we're going to keep running these numbers up, man. It's them Jennings boys.